guys, welcome back. So I have got a rather dramatic Christmas makeup tutorial for y'all today, and it's on this look right here. So typically with my Christmas makeup, I will do like a light lid or um, a golden lid, and then either like a red or a berry lip. Like that's typically what I go for. And I have some other looks like that on my channel, so I will try to remember to do like a playlist and link it for you in a card or whatever. So if you like those sort of looks, I do have those on my channel. But I was just feeling like doing something different and out there and just super colorful. So I've got gold on my lower lash line and on my inner corner and on my cheekbones, just as my highlight. Lots of gold involved, but also green on my lid and then the red lip. So there's a lot going on, but I think it's really, really fun. And yeah, so if you want to see how to get this tutorial, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm going to start by applying some eye primer. Today I'm using my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Now I want to set that primer and kind of make a base for my eyes. So I'm going to get a little bit of White Lies and Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek. And I'm just using, I think like an Eco Tools brush. I'm just going to kind of combine those together and put that all over my lid. Now for my crease, I'm going to get some of Creme Brulee on a Cosette D20 brush. And I'm just going to apply that into my crease. Now for my lid shade, I'm gonna use Makeup Geek's Secret Garden. This is gorgeous, I love it. And I'm just gonna get that all over my brush and apply that all over my lid, stopping kind of at my crease, like I'm gonna to try to like soften it right in my crease, but mainly keep it right on my lid. taking my crease brush and crease shade and just doing a little bit of blending and softening here. I want to kind of lighten and brighten the inner part of my lid, so I'm going to take some of Makeup Geek's Charmed. This is one of her foiled shadows, and I'm just going to apply that right on kind of the inner eighth and a smidgen on the inner corner of my eye. This is honestly mostly going to be covered up by glitter, but I just like to go ahead and like, you know, get the stuff down on my lid first and get that all like how I like it and then go back in with the glitter. So even if it gets covered up, it's okay. I want to bring out the green in this look a little bit more. So I'm going to take this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Golden Emerald and I'm going to get that on that same detailer brush and I'm just going to apply this like right to the center of my lid. Then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more Secret Garden in the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to use my finger a little bit to intensify the drama. Yeah, there we go. Now time for some glitter. So I'm going to use this one from Eye Candy. This is in Twizzle Stick. And I'm going to use their brush and their um, liquid sugar, kind of like mixing medium type stuff. And I'm going to apply this kind of like mostly concentrated on the inner part of my lid and just kind of like lightly go in the outer part, but just use less of the glitter. I want the glitter concentrated in here and on my lid and then just kind of like lightly tap to blend it out. That's what I'm going to be doing. And then I would say I kind of keep looking down so that it doesn't crease and it kind of gives it time to dry, but I love this glitter. It's, I'm talking to you while I'm looking down. It's such a pretty color. It's like a green with mostly like gold, but a little bit of almost like orangey glitter in it. It's beautiful. So dimensional. Really, really a neat color. As far as how high up I'm taking the glitter, I'm really just taking it right to my crease and stopping. 
I'm not taking it any higher than that, just right on my lid. So pretty, I love this glitter. And for my brow bone, I'm gonna use those same two shades that I started out with as a base. So White Lies and Vanilla Bean. I really like this combo. I think it makes a really perfect matte brow bone highlight. Now for my lower lash line, I'm gonna take some of Makeup Peaks Magic Act and I'm using a Luxie 221 flat definer brush for this. Just wanna get a little bit of gold on my lower lash line. And then to intensify the gold a little bit, I'm gonna get Makeup Peaks Untamed with that same brush and go over the top of that. I like the combo of them. This one is very kind of like I don't know, almost like an orangey gold, and the other one is very light, so I like to mix them, because it's kind of like a happy combo. Then over the top of that, I'm gonna use some of this Urban Decay Heavy Metal. This is in Midnight Cowboy, and I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with this glitter. I love these glitters, they're really nice and easy to use. Versatile. My camera cut me off, but I was saying very versatile. They're just like great little glitters. I really want to keep the glitter very visible, so I'm just going to tight line with this NYX City Proof Waterproof Eyeliner, just in black. So just going to tight line, not line my lash line. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. For my upper lashes, I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Superhero. And for my lower lashes, I'm gonna use my IT Cosmetics Tight Line. Okay, so moving on to the rest of my face. So I've already applied foundation, concealer, and powder. So I will list those down below for you. For bronzer today, I'm gonna to use this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster, and this is in Matte Sculpting. So I'm gonna get a little combo of these two shades here with my Sedona Lace FB05 brush and just do a little bit of contouring and bronzing up my face. For blush today, I'm gonna to use one of my very favorites, Chanel's Jersey, and I'm just using a MAC like angled brush. This is a very neutral blush and Clearly we have a lot going on with our eyes and we're about to have a dramatic lip, so we need to keep the cheeks somewhat subdued if possible. <laughs> kind of subdued cheeks, but we're still going to go with a pretty dramatic highlight. But this is so pretty, we gotta do it. This is Ofra's Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. So I'm gonna take my Delium Tools 944, apply some of this on my cheekbones, Cupid's bow, a tiny little bit on my nose, and then I am gonna put just a little bit on the inner corners of my eyes. This is such a pretty gold highlight. It is just amazing. If you're looking for a gold highlight, this one is just incredible. I'm going all out and I'm doing a red lip. Now you could totally just do a nude lip or just a really subdued gloss or whatever you wanna do, but I'm gonna go with the fun red option and just go all out with this makeup look. So I'm gonna use my Jordana Easy Liner for lips in, I was almost gonna say Tawny, cause that's what I always use, but no, this is Sedona Red. And then I'm gonna use my Ofra's Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Atlantic City. These are both such pretty, pretty red lip products. Some of my favorites. Alright guys, so that wraps up this look and tutorial. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you are planning to do with your makeup for Christmas. I would love to know that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!